Hey guys, I'm Rich, and welcome to another action figure review here on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> today I'm going to be reviewing the new Crisis 2 Grunt action figure. Uh, this is for the game released by Crytek, or EA, uh, called Crisis 2. It's coming out soon. They've released a series of six action figures. Um, so you've got a couple, uh, three aliens and then three humans. Uh, so this here is the grunt here in the packaging. Now the company that releases these is called Game Stars Collectibles. I've never heard of this company before, but I do like their slogan, Experience the Games, Collect the Action. That is a pretty cool slogan, you know, because sometimes companies are like kind of boring. This one's a little more exciting. Uh, back of the packaging here, you can see all six of the figures. Uh, all of them here. Now what's kind of funny is that if you look, uh, they have them all organized by number 26,000 and something. So like here we have number 26,001, then 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Why they didn't do one, you know, like put one up here, two, three, you know, like going down like that, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, another noticeable problem that I've noticed on the packaging here for the Grunt Alien Infantry is if you look here at the figure, okay, you can look at him, you can see he's got a claw hand here, then he's got some type of gun on his arm, then you flip him over and you're like, wait a second, wait, wait, the gun's on this arm now it's like the claws on the other bit so whatever they did when they got these images to post-production you know when they're putting all the packaging together they mirrored the images or something because the guns on the wrong arm so kind of a fail there but I'll read this thing here uh, let's see the grunt is evidently the backbone of the alien army a versatile all-purpose infantry unit that makes it the bulk of their forces grunts seem particularly adept at making smart use of cover and form an intimidating attack force, especially when working together in squads, meaning they're going to swarm you in the game like crazy. These alien units appear to be most commonly deployed to occupy and defend strategic areas. So basically what they told you is these guys are the most common, you're going to see them everywhere in the game, and they die like little punks. Okay, so now here we have the grunt out of his packaging. Pretty cool figure. Uh, basic, I guess the the detail of him is pretty basic. Fix these lights. It's pretty basic. I mean, uh, the face is pretty detailed. I do like the face. You see, like, all these little eyes here. And in the trailer uh, for Crisis 2, you just see, like, red glows if they're in the dark. So, but they do have a bunch of, like, little tiny eyes. Their head can move around a bit. But when you first get the figure, um, you have, like, these tentacles uh, you just put in place. Really simple. They pop out, so you don't have to worry about keeping them in there. Uh, other than that, there's no building or assembling for this figure at all. Um, articulation, there's only 11 points of articulation, which if you don't know, um, like maybe you don't have a lot of action figures or you don't really care, 11 points of articulation is not very good. It's, it's pretty subpar. Uh, that's like basic articulation, which it's good they put it in, and it's pretty good where they do have it. Like up here in the head, the head can rotate 360, it's on a ball joint, although I wouldn't recommend rotating it 360 because he has like these pieces right here that kind of look like in the video game they would be kind of going into the flesh, uh, so I wouldn't recommend that. Both the arms can open and kind of swing forward, not really a lot there. Uh, both hand, well the hand can rotate 360, the gun can rotate 360, it's also on a ball joint so you can kind of angle it however you'd like it. I personally like it being kind of like that. Um, no waist articulation at all. Uh, the hips can open. Pretty, I mean, it's got good range right there. can rotate 360 if you can maneuver it around the arm. Otherwise, it can reach pretty well out there. The knee articulation is pretty good. And he also has foot articulation. And it can't really rotate. No, yeah, it can't rotate to the sides, but it can go up and down pretty well. So you can get him in some pretty cool poses if you can get him to stand. So, like that. That's that's pretty cool. It's kind of like, you know, he's aiming to shoot and everything. Um, overall, like I said, the detail, not the greatest. Uh, I've seen better, but the, the figure is on the lower end of action figures for price. Um, it's more around the range of, like, G.I. Joe's so, and Star Wars figures. So, it's not it's not on the higher scale of, like, really expensive stuff. So, you, know, you, you get a pretty good deal for your price. Wait, pretty good price for the deal. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, paint job. Uh, truthfully, I've seen better. Um, 
it's really not that great. Uh, if you look here, like where like the organs are or whatever the flesh is supposed to be, because I'm assuming they're supposed to be like cyborgs, because I don't really know much about Crisis. Crisis was originally just for the PC. Now Crisis 2 is going to also be on the Xbox 360. So now I'm interested in it, but I don't really know anything about it. I went and did some research, and apparently these are supposed to be like some type of alien cyborg things. So... And these are more of like exosuits, so it's not really a robot so much as, you know, it's an exosuit. Uh, so this right here is actually the bulk of the alien. The flesh parts, that's actually like the real alien itself. And these are just suits they use to get around. So uh, I can imagine they're kind of gross looking if they look all like a booger right now. But, you know, eh, it's alright. Not the worst, not the best. But I still like the figure because I think it's a cool, cool alien, you know, overall. Now, to put him in scale with some other figures, here we have a Lego Man, standard size, and then we also have a Halo Reach action figure. The Halo Reach action figure is taller than the Grunt alien action figure here from Crisis, but, eh, you know, they're in two different scales, you know, they're not really in the same. Um, I would say Crisis definitely fits way better in the G.I. Joe range, um, and the aliens are bigger than humans, so, um, yeah. And then to put it in scale, if you don't have any of these things or you don't know what size any of these things are, I'm going to use a common thing, and it was suggested that I use a Coke can. I don't actually have a Coke per se, but I do have some mellow yellow that was in the house. So that's how tall the figure is. He's a little shorter than a, a can of Coke, soda, pop, whatever you call it in your region. So, yeah, there we go. Overall, I'm going to give the figure... Eh, I'm feeling generous. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I would. I like the figure... I, the articulation is good. I wish it had maybe some art elbow articulation as well, but, you know, that's okay. That's excusable. The only thing that's really standing out to make this figure look cheap, which is a, which is a bummer, is the paint job. The, the paint job really brings down the overall, like, f quality of the figure. Uh, some people, they won't care. Like me, I don't, I don't care. I'd still buy it. But for other people, they, some collectors, you know, they really focus on the detail and how nice it looks because they want to display it. And the paint jobs, they just don't really meet up there, you know. So, overall, 4 out of 5. Uh, if you like Crisis and you're thinking about getting the figures, or if you want to get the whole series, it's only 6 figures, it's pretty cheap to get for a whole series of figures, go ahead and get it, you know. But alright guys, thank you very much for watching. And a comments or questions about this figure, leave that down below. Um, and uh, if you have any comments about this figure yourself, you can post it in the comment section, or you can post a video response. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Rich, hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys again next time. Rawr, I'm a dinosaur.